Have you ever heard of Windows LTSC? Probably not, most people haven't. It's a relatively rare version of Windows that most people will never ever use, but it's still interesting to talk about, I think, so that's what this video is about. Now, you probably have heard of most of the versions of regular Windows 10. There's Home, there's Pro, there's Windows 10 Pro for workstations, which is relatively new, you might not have heard of that one, and then of course there's Enterprise and Education versions. And Windows LTSC is actually a special version of Windows 10 Enterprise, and it's stands for long-term service channel. And the main difference between LTSC and other versions is unlike the regular versions of Windows you'd get, which follows the so-called semi-annual channel of updates, which is when you get a major update every six months, which is typical, that's when Microsoft creates these major updates. With the long-term service channel, you don't get these major updates every six months, which we're gonna talk about. And also as a side note, the LTSC used to be called LTSB, long-term service branch, but so if you see that, it's just LTSC now. But what is the actual purpose of LTSC and what exactly do I mean by this different long-term service channel of updates? What exactly does that mean? Well, really the main use case for LTSC is specialty cases where the compatibility and long-term stability of the operating system is far more important than getting new features. And some really simple common examples of this would be things like MRI machines, air traffic controller computers, point of sales terminals or ATMs, basically systems where it's very, very important that over the life of that device, that the behavior of Windows 10 doesn't change or that updates don't break things and you don't really need new features on these type of things. It's pretty much gonna behave the same exact way over the life of it and you don't want it to change at all. So instead of the regular update schedule with all other versions of Windows, which is every six months, although you can delay it in some situations, I'm gonna ignore that. With LTSC, there's a new version released every two to three years with different feature updates. And once you get one of those versions, so for example, there's one in 2015, 2016, and then one in 2019, once you install that version of LTSC, it's not gonna actually get any feature updates for the whole support cycle, which is 10 years, which means that when you go to install it onto something, you're saying, okay, I don't want any feature updates for the next 10 years and it'll only get security updates. And in addition to that, you're gonna get a lot fewer apps that are typically not gonna be ever needed with an LTSC installation. So the Microsoft Store, that's not included. A lot of different bundled apps, especially that bloatware you see. And also things like Cortana and Microsoft Edge, also not included in this because I think if you're gonna be running an MRI machine or an air traffic controller machine, you're not gonna be using Cortana. Now, at this point, you might be thinking, well, this sounds great. I don't like to update Windows very often. I want this. But really, you probably don't. Windows 10 LTSC is really terrible for personal use and productivity for a lot of reasons. And that's because even though, yes, the regular updates every six months do tend to kind of break things, it is kind of important to get them every once in a while. So for example, with an LTSC version of Windows, it's not gonna support any new hardware or silicon like CPUs or whatever that comes out after that release of LTSC. And if you did, you would have to get a major upgrade to the next version of LTSC because each individual build of LTSC doesn't get any feature updates. You'd have to like basically do a reinstallation. And another thing to note is that if there is something that is not supported from the get-go that you don't realize, even if it's not new, then you can't really expect that to be supported in the next 10 years ever for that version that you have, so you really would not be able to use it. Now, I will point out that if you do have one version of LTSC and you want a newer version of Windows or you need it to support something, it's not the end of the world because you can actually, like I mentioned before, upgrade from one major version of LTSC to the next. So if you have 2015 or 2016, you could get the latest 2019 as long as you make sure that it works 100% completely with your hardware that you're using it on, which is probably not really worth it for someone who's you know running a million dollar MRI machine. It might not be worth it to install the latest version just so you can get a better snipping tool or something like that. On the other hand, if you do decide that you do want really regular updates, they do also allow you to go from the LTSC long-term service channel to the semi-annual channel because it's still enterprise. With the LTSC, you still have an enterprise license. 
you can go from the never updating basically to the semi-annual channel if you really want to. But that kind of defeats the purpose of getting the LTSC in the first place, but the option is there. Still, to reiterate, LTSC is really just meant for extremely specific purposes. I think like way less than one or 2% of any systems running Windows is gonna have LTSC. And it is for things like maybe a Navy submarine, very, very specific computer systems that do not wanna change at all. Though if you are like me and you are very wary of Windows updates, you know, every six months, they do release a major one. A lot of times it breaks something. I've had instances where things like Steam crashes after a new Windows update, it's very annoying. So I actually do use Windows 10 Pro, which allows you to delay feature updates by up to, I think like a year entirely. And I typically have that set I don't know, at least from 90 days to 180 days. So I don't like to get the latest version of the Windows feature updates right away because of that history. So I would actually suggest if you do have the money and you don't like to update Windows right away, I think Windows 10 Pro is worth it just for that purpose. And that way you don't have to worry about your computer glitching out or breaking or anything like that. And if you do see that you want a update that isn't a new major update, then you can install it whenever you want if you really want that specific feature. But also, you don't have to delay all updates. You can just delay the feature updates. And of course, I don't delay the security updates, which are really essential. Even though you have the option to do that, I would never recommend delaying security updates. But what if you've heard all this and you still say, you know what, I don't care. I want Windows LTSC. I wanna be that cool guy who has the rare version of Windows. Well, unfortunately, first of all, you probably can't get Windows LTSC because Windows 10 Enterprise versions in general require you to get volume licensing. Us mere mortals cannot buy a enterprise key unless you do work for a company or something or you're an IT professional and you're installing on several different computers, then that's when you might be able to get a deal and get a volume licensing deal with them. And if you're wondering about the cost, from what I understand, it's not really like a fixed price. I'm not entirely sure how it works, though I do believe that obviously the price is going to depend on how many you get. If you buy a ton of different licenses, they'll probably be willing to cut you a little deal, and that's probably why there's not really any published prices. However, there is one exception that I know of that if you really, really want Windows 10 Enterprise, and specifically LTSC for your personal computer, you can apparently get it, but it's not cheap. You have to go through what is called the MSDN, Microsoft Developer Network subscription, which is basically for developers. And the purpose of this is you pay the subscription, which by the way, is $1,200 for the first year and like $800 for every other year. And that basically gives you a bunch of different tools, including apparently keys for every type of Windows version, including enterprise, so that you can test out your apps on all of these versions, obviously. So that would include the ability to get an enterprise key for your personal computer. Of course, you're paying a crap load of money to do it and it's completely overkill. So obviously Windows 10 LTSC, definitely not for 99.9% .9 of people and probably only useful even for a small handful of organizations. So I know a lot of people probably would get this for maybe even an office if they really don't wanna deal with feature updates and they don't care about that at all, but it's really not made for productivity purposes at all. And I know on a lot of different articles made by Microsoft, they do not suggest it for anyone who's like working in an office. Though I guess the good news is that even though you have heard of this very cool new version of Windows, it's completely uh, not necessary to get it at all. So you don't have to worry about wanting it because it would not be good for you. And again, if you do want to delay updates, there is always Windows 10 Pro, which you can, I believe, just through the Microsoft Store, pay like $99. Even if you have home, you don't have to like reinstall Windows or anything, you can get that. And as a side note, another cool feature with Windows 10 Pro is the Group Policy Editor. If you know what that is, then you have that access in Windows 10 Pro, which I use every once in a while. That's another video entirely, but I thought I'd just mention it. But in any case, now you do know about another version of Windows that you might not have ever heard of before, and you can brag your friends about your intimate Windows knowledge that they have never even heard of. And you can be like, you don't even know about Windows LTSC? 
please. If you have heard of Windows LTSC before, you can go ahead and brag down in the comments, let us know about it. And maybe there is another really obscure version of Windows that I've never talked about before. Maybe it's worth making a video about, let us know down in the comments. If you guys wanna keep watching, I'll put some other videos right here. For example, the difference between Windows 10 Pro and Home, if you wanna know about that, I'll put that link right here. And if you wanna subscribe, I make a couple videos a week, so it should be worth it. So as usual, thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.